Hello, Polly the Best for UK here, and welcome to today's Game of Day video. Every day, 6 pm UK time, October 2019, a different PC MS DOS game on my channel. So today's, ga so today's game sorry, is Bubble Bubble. So uh, let's have a look at this one. So I'm in the directory here, so let's have a look what uh, exe files we've got. And we've got Bubble and Get Drive. So it's only two now set up program by the looks of it. I'll just check the com files, just a test.com. Hmm, install. Let's try that one. Oh, I don't need to do that because it's already on the drive. So let's just go for Bubble Bubble. So it, on the first launch, it asks you to, to remap the keyboard if you want to or not. Uh, no. No, I don't need to remap the keyboard. Now, as you can see, this is a fun time arcade. You can see the coin ups in the background. And this is Bubble Bubble, IBM version by Nova Logic. Programmed by John Bertovic, copyright 1989 Tatio America Corporation. So let's start the game. So the music sounds like it's sounding from the PC speaker on this one. Now it is the beginning of a fantastic story. Let us make our journey to the Cave of Monsters. Good luck. Well, as you can see, this is a coin up conversion of uh, Bubble Wobble right here. No. So basically what you've got to do is you've got to uh, shoot the bubbles at the monsters, trap them in the bubble and then burst the bubble. Like so. That's the objective of the game. Like a sort of puzzler. Oh you fuck, you just got me and I'm spinning round right here. So uh, yeah, uh, let's try and get him. Okay, jump. There we go. So this is, yeah, like I said, this is basically a coin up conversion of the arcade machine. Once you've done the baddies, the screen will progress to the next level. Now there's plenty of screens to keep you occupied. You can see player twos on the screen as well. I don't. He's just going to end up getting killed because uh, I'm not sure why he's on there actually. Because I only wanted to get a one player game. But yeah, if you've got two players, you can uh, sort of work as cooperative team to get rid of all the baddies. Oh shit. Oh, you booner. You just got me right here. Okay. The baddies run quite fast on this, so you've got to be careful. You, you do get a certain amount of lives so that it shows on the right hands of the screen. Like there's one up and two up. Credits nine as well. So yeah, progress on each level has a sort of different look look to the uh, walls and stuff. Have some of that. The PC speaker music isn't that good, to be honest, but uh, I suppose it's better than no music at all. But the, this uh, game is, is known for uh, having a very repetitive tune. Oh shit. Hurry up. I I'm trying to get him, but he keeps getting away. Oh shit. So after a bit, if you're not quick in your quest, these monsters come after you. Oh, you booner. Like so. He's a bloody hard one to get, he is. There we go, I've got him. Just burst the bubble. Quick, before he gets out of the bubble. There we go. And he turns into some bananas. I don't think I'll get them bananas in time. Oh, I did. Before the screen uh, rotates to the next level. Oh, shit. So, yeah, there's plenty of uh, different levels in the game. Oh, you booner. You got me right here. Okay, have some of that. Oh, you fuck. So you can continue if you lose all your lives from the from the current level, so you don't have to start from the beginning. Fucking hell. <laughs> have some of that. And have some of that. Okay. Get, get, get this sub guy. There we go. Oh, shit. He's coming down. Okay, here we go. There we go. Got him. Are we up? Okay. So get the bananas and progress on to the next stage right here. Yeah, the it would have been better with ad lib music. I don't know if you can activate an ad, ad lib option. Uh, someone can let me know in the comments if you can. Or maybe it was just only released for PC speaker. But yeah, PC speaker doesn't sound that great, to be honest, on this game. You can manipulate the PC speaker to do some wonderful things, but they obviously didn't bother on this game. 
Like for example, Pinball Dreams, you can actually have the sampled music coming out the PC speaker, which is quite impressive to be honest, considering it's not designed for that. On certain aspects of the game, you can ride these train things that go through all the baddies in a quick swoop. So yeah, that's basically Buzzle Bobble. It goes on forever. There's loads of screens on it, and uh, great fun for multiplayer, two player. And uh, I'm going to give that the PC version 7 out of 10. I would have given it an 8 out of 10, but it's just because of the music. Uh, if it's only PC speaker, then that's it. Anyway, so it's still a great game. Still good fun to play. Very responsive to controls. Good graphics for the time. And yeah, 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.